Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VYST. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement once again today, and certainly some updates here needed to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning, just get rid of this line down there. Sure, that level still pertains, it's just not relevant right now, and from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So for those of you that did watch the video, from Monday, hopefully you remember me talking about 30, or excuse me, 12 cents as resistance, but now that the price is up above it, this would be one of the newest areas of support. And what I would call the ideal level, I mean, if you say, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would certainly be if the price can say up above 12 cents. Now, with that being said, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 12, I'm not saying that automatically implies the entire chart's destroyed or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of strength. Taking a step back and looking at things for more so the big picture point of view, and that is where the purple line there comes into play, the famous 50 period moving average, keyword being mo moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch the purple line as I've said in the past. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How even best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above, uh, 12 cents would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Well, at this point, uh, it seems as though there's more of a resistance tread line. So what I'm gonna do is just get this in a play. And it's kind of hard to assign a numerical value to it because you know as time goes by, that line gets lower and lower. But just uh, in my mind, that seems to be the, the key level of resistance to watch going forward, that resistance tread line. But at the end of the day, as I've said in past videos, Resistance levels really don't matter that much. What matters the most is what this chart has uh, you know, been doing over the past few days, and that is just building higher bases. So as long as higher bases continue to be built over time, or if you wanna picture those as stair steps, then everything else will eventually take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on going through healthy consolidations and sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.